Hello! In today's video, I will show you a heads-up situation where Hero is on the small blind, plays mini-raise, and gets 3-bet all-in from his opponent. This happens on 20BB, and we will try to figure out which hand small blind should call versus all-in and why. Let's go. We set up heads-up situation. We choose blinds 10-20. 400 chips on start, so 20BB. We raise to 40, so it's a mini raise. Our opponent goes all in. To simplify, we can assume that small blind plays this way with whole of his range. It doesn't really matter in this particular situation. The next thing we have to determine is with what hands does our opponent 3-bet all in. I think that standard range here is those pocket pairs. Jacks are maybe more close, but I still marked them. I also added ace-x from ace-deuce to ace-king. Why ace, kings, and queens are not marked? Because I assume that those hands won't go all in. I expect our opponent to 3-bet non-all-in, something between 100 and 120 chips, to pull us into a pot more easily. It's really rare on this stage of the tournament, either sit and go or spin and go, for players to go all-in with those hands. Okay, we've got everything set up. Let's calculate. So this is a range that we should call versus a range that we've marked a minute ago. What's interesting is that Jack-10 suited is also green. Why? Because Jack-10 suited plays very well against those pocket pairs. Also, it blocks jacks and tens of our opponent. I know it looks very not intuitively, so I will show you in Equilab if jack-10 suited really has better EV than, let's say, king-queen suited. Let's set up small blinds range as jack-10 suited. Big blinds range is every ace-x and jacks to deuces. As you can see, jack-10 suited has 45.31%. If we change it to king-queen suited, it's 44.06%. This is a very small difference, and in reality, it doesn't influence our game. You can just treat it as an interesting fact. If we change our opponent's range a little and add queens, so that he also goes all in with his queens, the Jack-10 suited is no longer in profitable calling range. As I've said, the difference is very small. Players often make a mistake of focusing on those pre-flop plays too much. It's really hard to make a big mistake pre-flop. It doesn't matter if some hand has a 1% EV difference. Now, I will show you one more, let's say extreme range, that assumes that our opponent bluffs some hands. So let's say he will 3-bet all-in with something like that. So what changes in our strategy? 
As you can see, our calling range changes very much. We can easily call all broadways now, not only suited, but also off-suited. Even a hand like Jack-10 off-suit is green now, which means that it's a call. What's interesting, Ace-4 to Ace-Deuce are still not hands that we should call versus all-in. Very often, players that have low experience in poker prefer to call those low ace X hands instead of two high cards hands like queen jack offsuit, which is a big mistake. So what does it tell us? What conclusions should we draw from this? It's very important to figure out what strategy does our opponent use. Whether he's a solid player and will 3-bet all in, only with his strongest hands, or maybe he's a player that likes to take risk, like to bluff or semi-bluff. It's able to go all in with hands like 7-6 offsuit, 8-6 suited. That's what our calling strategy has to be based on. If we know that our opponent can go all in with those connector types of hands, then we can call our broadways. Thanks for watching. Take care and good luck on the tables.